Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh, it's been quite a while. I stopped making content for a while, obviously. The reason just being I was burnt out. Nothing special. Moved on with my life for a while. Some of you may have noticed that a lot of my videos are missing. Uh, a while back, within the span of two weeks, Nintendo struck down about 50 of my videos. So, I will probably never be making Nintendo content again in the future, especially with the current state of Switch modding, um, but that's okay because I've moved on to something that I think is much cooler, much more exciting. I began building combat robots. If any of you have ever seen BattleBots or Robot Wars, people build remote control robots and put weapons on them and stick them in a box. They're tons of fun. To stop myself from burning out this time around with this content, I will be uploading much less often because there will be much less uh, content to cover, but it will be much cooler. The kind of content that I want to make is I want to do time lapses of my designing, printing, assembling, and testing of my robots, and do coverages of my events that I attend and compete at. If any of you are interested in that, definitely let me know. So this here is a pudding, as you can see after the event. Uh, it is a horizontal undercutter spinner, so it sits this way. The chassis is printed out of TPU plastic, so it's very flexible, which has felt very strange to use for a combat robot. The wheels are printed out of TPU with rubber cast around them. The weapon is 105 grams of AR500 steel that spins at a theoretical max tip speed of 247 miles per hour and a theoretical max energy around 250 joules. The reason it's theoretical is because air drag prevents the motor and weapon from hitting the maximum RPM they can. Unfortunately, due to my testing in the past with this motor, it ha was a little bit broken and it was grinding a magnet a little bit, so it vibrated when I tried to get to max speed, so I was running it around 60% most of the event. So, unfortunately, I couldn't quite get the damage that I wanted, but it's still, I think it did pretty good. So, with that, we'll jump in, we'll, we'll see how I did. Back now in our lightest weight category, but not our weakest. That's the 30 pound single. The beginning of fight one. I'm against a robot called Mini Vortex, a vertical spinner with two vertical discs. Mini Vortex, are you ready? So this is my first robot ever and my first event ever. And so as you can see, I'm struggling to get a hang of the stick at first. Um, <clears throat> he doesn't have a metal wedge and it's not very sloped and it's very soft. So uh, I felt free to just hit him head on because I knew I would bite into it. If you see my robot start shaking and sliding across the floor when I spin up, that's because my motor is broken, and there's something grinding inside. Unfortunately, he entered the arena. Uh, one of his wheels was struggling to work. Right about this point, I started getting a hang of it a little better. So you can see sometimes when I hit him, uh, my robot will like rotate like a coin on the floor. I, I, because my weapon sticks out both the front and the back, uh, whenever I deflect an angle up a little bit, uh, my weapon hits the floor from the back side. You can see some nice gashes in his robot. A very match. No, 
Fortunately, I missed my weapon and I took some shots myself. I thought I could hit him uh, while inverted, but uh, that was a mistake, clearly. Luckily, designed my bot to be able to self right. And right there, my drive motor disconnected, right before I hit his wedge. That was due to poor soldering on my part. But I still got one wheel, weapon still working. So now we both get to inch forward. And right here, he gets a good little juggle on me. Doesn't hit me too hard, but it gets some good pops. Good little bites. And right there, right I, when I hit the wall, my battery actually completely disconnected from the power splitter. And I ended up losing the judge's decision because of damage based on that. But I think it was a pretty good showing for my first fight. For my second fight, <coughs> I'm up against a robot named Tamarack, which is an offset horizontal spinner. And right away, my robot vibrated on the floor and pulled my drive uh, so that my wheel spun right into his weapon. Uh, at this point, my wheels were barely working. I could just wiggle them a little bit. But I wanted to continue. And then right around here, I could start skittering around a little bit. My wheels started working again. He ripped one of my titanium armor pieces off the front, and now my wheels are completely dead. You can see the one wheel tries to spin, but it can't. The judge starts counting me out, and uh, I respond pretty aggressively. Right here, he chops my weapon clean off. Not a great showing, but uh, it survived quite a while. The drive motor still worked, the gearboxes were destroyed, uh, the weapon motor still worked, and the, re uh, the receiver and the battery were okay, so. So this is the one pound rumble. I'm the gray robot with the arrow that was pointing at it. There are seven horizontal spinners in this box, and one wedge. The wedge immediately pushes me, but I get off pretty fast, and then I bounce way off of him. My goal in this fight is to just keep moving as much as I can, I try not to be a stationary target for all of these deadly weapons. Right there, I rip half of his side guard off and disable one of his wheels and then I ripped a wheel clean off of the other offset next to him. I go for the wedge, but my weapon was too high while upside down. Luckily I bounce right side up. Start tapping people around. I'm doing my best to avoid that ring and that blue spinner because they are very dangerous. Make some sparks. Good shot there. And another good shot. Well, Ed's still going. I see two working wheels and a spinning blade. Spin, spin, sugar's trying to self right. Poke the bear. 
And right there, I disabled the wheel on that other offset. So that's three bots that I have disabled. Gets stuck on the wall, but my wheels are massive, so it's easy to get off. But more robots than... More robots are moving than not. I realized my weapon could slide under that ring, so I didn't feel too scared to go right at it. I just had to be very careful. I smacked into the blue offset, and you could see why I didn't want to hit it. There's a hole in my nose. Very impressive construction on all the robots to stand up to all this. And I took a massive shot from the offset that I just disabled earlier. Uh, and he turned my wheel into a banana. My drive shaft is very wobbly. But the robot was still driving by some miracle. And that's the end of the match. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. Unfortunately, the crowd vote decided to choose the uh, the ring horizontal as the winner. But I think that fight was a great showing, and it shows what could come out of this robot. And I hope you all look forward to seeing that, and to seeing me designing version two. And uh, yeah, the green hub robot. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you when I start making new robots in version 2 of this one. Anybody else?